Good morning, third grade, Mr. D here. It is Monday, April 13th. Today our learning target is I can understand the relationship of parallelograms, rectangles, squares, and rhombuses. All right, third grade, let's get rolling here. So first shape, uh, first thing we're gonna talk about are quadrilaterals. Everyone say quadrilaterals. All right, a quadrilateral, it's a polygon with four sides. Remember that polygon is that closed figures. Um, remember it's three sides or more, um, but a quadrilateral, if we look at this word right here where my mouse is at, quad, quad means four, like a four wheeler, they call them quad. Sometimes they're writing a quad, quad means four. So a quadrilateral, it's a polygon, a closed figure with four sides, our four sides, one, two, three, four. And again, those four sides, remember third grade, those four sides, um, they don't always have to be straight like that. They can actually be at angles like that. Um, uh, but a quadrilateral is a polygon with four sides, four sides. All right, a parallelogram. A parallelogram is also a figure. It's a quadrilateral, so it has four sides. Quad means four. It's a quadrilateral with both pairs of opposite sides parallel. Now, what that means, third grade, is opposite. Opposite means across from each other. So when we say opposite sides, you see where my mouse is at right here and right here. Those are both opposite to each other. This and this, they're both opposite to each other. They're opposite sides. So um, they're across from each other. And then these two sides right here are opposite sides, and they, which means that they are across from each other. And when we say a parallelogram, we look at this. I always like to remember a parallelogram as these double L's here. It means they're, so they're across from each other. And that means that these two sides, this side and this side, will never touch each other. They're going forever and ever in the same direction um, like this. And that they will never touch one another. And if you look at this side and this side where my mouse is at, if these lines continued in this direction, these sides continued in that direction, they would, they would never touch each other because they're parallel. These L's in parallel, they're never going to touch each other. They're going to go on forever and ever in those directions because they're directly parallel from each other. So they'll never touch. So a parallelogram is a quadrilateral with four sides um, and both pairs of opposite sides. So this is an opposite side and this is an opposite side and they are both parallel to each other, parallelogram. So examples of parallelograms, you look here. Again, these opposite sides are parallel to each other. They'll never touch. These this pair of opposite sides are parallel and they'll never touch. So remember all four sides, are all, they all are parallel. So they all are parallel, the opposite sides are parallel. Again here, if you look here and right here, those are both parallel to each other. They'll both go on forever in those directions and never touch. Again, with these two sides here, opposite sides, they'll go on forever in those directions and never touch. Some non-examples of parallelograms. If you look here, if this side continued and this side continued, eventually, <coughs> excuse me eventually um they would meet so if we started here at the top this would go on and then this side eventually it would cross with this side so that means they're not parallel again with this side and this opposite side if they continue down in that direction down in that direction eventually they're going to cross one, one another all right so a rectangle a rectangle is a parallelogram so it's a parallelogram that means remember third grade that the opposite sides are parallel to each other. So this side and this side are parallel to each other and this side and this side are parallel to each other as well. It's a parallelogram with four right angles. Remember we talked about right angles. So remember the right angles, it's where two um, sides meet. So these sides are meeting right here. Oh, look at one right angle is right here, forms that perfect 90 degrees, one right angle here, one right angle here, and one right angle here, um, which make a rectangle. So. A rectangle and we notice that it has four sides but the sides aren't equal they're not all equal sides opposite sides are equal to each other a square um like it said in the brain pop a, a square is essentially a rectangle so it has this kind of the same characteristics of a rectangle the only thing that's different is is the side length so again um this is a parallelogram so it's a parallelogram just like if we hop back here, it's a rectangle. It's a parallelogram that has four right angles. This is a parallel, a square is a parallelogram. It has um, both opposite sides are equal to each other. This side and this side are equal to, um, are parallel to each other. And this side and this side are parallel to each other. And it has four right angles, one, two, three, and four. And the only thing that's different about this though is that the side lengths, all four side lengths of a square are 
the same length. And a rhombus, we learned that a rhombus and a square are very similar to each other. They're very similar to each other. They have four sides, they're parallel to each other. Um, they're a parallelogram with equal sides. Remember, equal sides mean they are the same side length. And last um, is a trapezoid. Um, a trapezoid, we look at a trapezoid, it's a quadrilateral with exactly one pair of parallel sides. The only thing that's different about a trapezoid, um, if you can look at a trapezoid and parallelogram, remember a parallelogram, both sides, opposite sides are parallel. The only thing that's different about a quadrilateral is that it only has one pair of parallel sides. So if you look down here where my mouse is at, this side and this side are parallel to each other. They'll go on forever and ever in those directions, but this opposite side, these two sides would eventually meet together because they're not parallel. So remember, the only thing you need to remember about a trapezoid is that it has one pair, exactly one pair of parallel sides. Third grade, that's all folks. That's all short and sweet today. I hope you have an awesome Monday. I'm gonna quickly click back just so we review. Remember, parallelogram is a quadrilateral with both pairs of opposite sides are parallel. Rectangle, remember it's a parallelogram that has four right angles, that's square. Remember the square is a rectangle. The only thing that's different is that it has four sides that are the same length. A rhombus, remember, very similar, same thing as a square, parallelogram with four with equal sides. And then we have our trapezoid, remember it's a quadrilateral with exactly one pair of parallel sides. Have an awesome day, third grade. I will talk to you Wednesday.